Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your October 2023 general monthly reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. We're going to freestyle this here and just pull on whatever energies come my way here for you. Look at that. Another ace. I normally don't take this many cards, but they were calling me. Um, I just want to say a great big thanks to all of your kindness, your patience, your support, especially for those of you that have been around for many years. I appreciate you. My schedule's just been a little crazy and then I was under the weather. So we're going to record until my voice gives out. <laughs> so let's see what the energies are for you, my Aquarius friends. You know, right off the bat, I really love that you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, yet there is something about this that has you second guessing yourself that has you feeling guilty like can it be this good is this really the one is this my perfect opportunity should i continue to wait should i continue to hold out maybe for some of you you had a specific um i guess idea of who you know your soulmate was your perfect partner perhaps this was an actual person that you have known for quite some time that maybe you thought you were eventually, you know, going to be together or get back together. Those of you that have a little bit of a history. For others of you, I do feel as though this could be um, in terms of your life and overall like boredom, unsatisfaction, you know, unsatis like no satisfaction with your life whatsoever in terms of, you know, feeling like there's got to be more than all of this, than waking up, going to work and, you know, coming home and starting all over again, right? I feel like some of you are trying to... Um, find new avenues to distract yourself from the mundane, from the boredom. It feels as though some of you are taking on new, um, new adventures, uh, educational courses. You may be learning something new. You may be thinking of opening your own business or just new hobbies that can perhaps uh, help you make some money, right? So, you know, like a little side gig, side hustle that can end up bringing you money in the long run. There is something here. I mean, we are in Libra season right now. You do have the Justice card, which is your major arcana here so far and all the cards I've pulled for the month. Um, meaning that this could be some sort of epiphany that you are receiving during this season. And now we are approaching the new moon, solar eclipse um, in Libra. Okay. So we're talking like big, big, big releases, big energy. This is like whatever you've been afraid to either admit to yourself, to release, to maybe even take on, you know, making those big changes that you need to make big decisions in your life that maybe you've put off for quite some time. You're making up the universe is putting you at a point in your life where it's kind of like um, there's no other way around it. It's got to be done. I feel like you've you've taken your time making decisions uh, that can affect other people, especially if there are children involved, uh, whether your children, other people's children, maybe siblings. Uh, it could be someone that you've known since childhood. It could be siblings that you and your siblings have to worry about or think about in terms of what the future holds. I do feel feel I get this feeling like everyone's everyone around you has seemingly moved on with their life um, has seemingly created a life for themselves and it's almost as though there are goals goals that you would want to attain but I want you to really take a moment and step back don't compare your journey where you're at right now versus where they're at. Just because they may have something that you have wanted or longed for doesn't mean their life is perfect or their life is better, okay? Sometimes your happy ending, those big goals, those dreams, manifestations are definitely worth the wait. Okay, Aquarius, that's very important that I let you know that came in loud and clear from spirit. The Four of Cups does tell me that, you know, even with offers of love, offers of friendship, offers of, you know, that bring about a new exciting adventure. I feel like there 
is a personal project some of you guys have been thinking of starting or have been spending some time already, like tapping into a personal project, whatever that may be, remodeling your home. Like I said, some of you pick up hobbies that can make you money, right? Maybe somebody, um, you know, happens to see your work somewhere or whatever it is that you like to do. Maybe you post it on social media and it's like, oh, hey, do you do it on commission? Can I commission you to do this for me? Uh, some of you may be really good with your hands. So, you know, think, think of, you know, um, manual play. In other words, um, you know, crafts, arts, painting, drawing, uh, manipulation with your hands, right? Because I'm seeing a lot of like clay, clay forms. And um, I don't really know what that means. That's what I heard though. So some of you may be playing around with that. Um, you know, could also be cooking and baking and anything else that requires um manual labor with your hands could be also you know mechanics right um, building construction things of that nature i feel like someone here is building a playhouse um i just saw like somebody building kind of like a little playhouse for someone maybe grandchildren maybe children nieces and nephews uh, I feel like someone may drive by or uh, your neighbor might see it and be like, hey, can you make one of those for my kids? You know what I mean? It's like one of those things where you never thought of doing something like that, but you actually enjoyed taking on this project. Okay, so keep those things in mind. What else do we have for Aquarius here? Two of swords and it flew out like this. So I am going to take it in reverse. It was pretty much, you know. 90% of the way in reverse. Two of Swords upright does speak of like, you know, being at a stalemate, stagnancy, um, unable to move forward, but also unable to see what's next for yourself. However, you know, with you've got two cards with blindfold, okay? Being that it's underneath the Justice card, card of Libra, we are in Libra season, I do feel, like I said, you're about to have some things that are just gonna start going your way and it's going to give you the courage and the strength to start getting a move on, to start moving forward, right? I do feel that, um, you know, the universe is going to uncover certain things and maybe even kind of force you to face certain um, circumstances or realities that you've been refusing to deal with or to see um, or even speaking up about and you're about to make things right you're about to balance the scales and they will be balanced in your favor so if you have felt like something has been unjust that you have been taking advantage of that people have um you know taken you for granted for far too long uh i feel like you're about to <laughs> I'm hearing you're about to blow your top, put somebody in your in their place about it, okay? So just keep that in mind. See, the chariot card with the knight of pentacles, that's like double, you know, um, message in regards to cars, transportation, automobiles. Again, it could be a pet project to work on a car. Uh, it could be, you know, travel. It could be that, you know, you're finally ready to do something. Some of you may be just ready to buy a new car, okay? <laughs> like, it's just time, you know? It's time for a new car. Mm. What else do we have here for you, my Aquarius friends? Four of Swords. Now, you've got four twice, okay? Because you've got the Four of Swords and you've got the Four of Cups. You know, both of these together, the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups, I mean, this is like um, emotional discontentment, boredom, but also you're at this point of your life where you may be feeling complete and total burnout, where it's time for you to really gather your thoughts, gather whatever momentum and energy you have within you at this time and be able to make a really strong move forward in a way that benefits you, your family, your finances, your future, your relationships, whatever it is that you are really putting at the forefront. And it really needs to start with you. If Aquarius isn't in a good place, what's going to happen with everything and everyone else around Aquarius, you know? 
I apologize, I'm still a little sniffly here. So let's see what the wisdom of the oracle has for you here. By the book, who just had this? Uh, I believe Capricorn did. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, you may have Capricorn in your chart. Prominent signs I'm seeing here uh, besides Libra is also Cancer. So, you know, Cancer season could have been of significant significance for you. That was this past summer. That is MasterCard number 11. Look at that. The card of mending and message in a bottle. Um, I don't remember who else got this. One of the Earth signs got that one. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So here it is by the book. Uh, this is a very strong message, especially with the Ace of Wands right next to it. You know, that's 11, 1, and another one over here with the Ace of Cups, 11, 11, 1, 1, 1. Those numbers could be, uh, you know, signaling to you if you happen to see them uh, on your day-to-day -day routine, randomly, you know, on the clock. Me messages are from the angels that are having you really you know, pay attention to your thoughts in that moment. What are you thinking of? What are you working on? What are you manifesting? What are you planning? And it's it's that it, it's that angelic nudge, you know, that spiritual nudge that's saying, you're on the right path, keep going. I like where you're going with this. This is like spirit's uh, affirmation of that thought you've got right now, those plans that you're thinking of, don't get discouraged, keep going, keep going. I feel like everything is aligning for you at this time, especially with a message in a bottle card message in a bottle does you know does represent you know getting that uh message from spirit right getting that intuitive nudge the those messages from higher source from your higher self this is literally the messages that you're receiving from your spirit guides guardian angels from the universe okay you ask for a sign it's here all right for some of you this is your sign for others of you you're asking for a sign waiting for it to pop up and it's like boom there it is you're about to get more signs now that you've seen that but the card by the book with the message in a bottle is saying, listen, everything that you've been manifesting, that you've been trying to align for, that you've been wanting to call in to you or for yourself, it's happening. It's aligning. You are in co-creation mode with the universe, with your spirit guides, guardian angels. Allow yourself to receive. Give yourself permission to receive. Give yourself permission to align with everything that you have been asking for. Sometimes the, the energy or the thoughts or the feelings of self-doubt creep in because that is what you've experienced in the past and some of you currently in the present moment. But it's time for you to give yourself some time, you know, the energy of healing to receive, right? The card of mending does speak of uh, healing this could have been in the month of July. This could have been around cancer season. That is card number 52, which is seven. You have another seven here with the chariot card. Um, but I do feel that with the card of mending, this is mending relationships. This is healing things within yourself as well. So if you're recovering um, or getting over a heartache or heartbreak, doesn't remember heartache or heartbreak doesn't necessarily mean relationship breakup stuff. Okay, this could be a disappointment in you know a friend, a relative, a family member, your children, a coworker, somebody let you down, and you're just like, I don't know if I'm ready to let go of that. I'm no, I don't know if I'm ready to move past that. I do feel like um, you are working on yourself to be able to be uh, more understanding of the situation, not because they deserve it, but because you need to forgive for you, not necessarily them. So like I said earlier, we do have the eclipses this month. It's going to be wild. Put your seatbelts on. <laughs> Solar eclipse, middle of the month, followed by the lunar eclipse. Now, if you are interested in booking a personal reading, I will be opening up appointment slots. Uh, check for that on um, 
either in the comments in the community tab. I'll probably post it up in a short, but also I'll be at a live event here in Southern California. So if you are here locally to LA, I will be doing readings in person if you are interested. I will also link that information down below. I'll be posting it up as well. So here you go. Balance and spiritual, oh, balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. You may feel quite emotional at this time or as you move through this eclipse energy. It's that final push, that final release of letting go of stagnant energy, of pent up anger. And I'm hearing the words aggression. Some of you have felt some sort of aggression or felt like, you know, you're at that point of lashing out in an aggressive manner over things that you have sacrificed for others and yet either they don't appreciate, they don't, um, I feel like it's not even they don't appreciate but they don't even acknowledge everything and not that you're doing things for acknowledgement but it really tends to leave you feeling very used and abused and taken for granted right nobody likes to feel that way so balance spirituality and practicality so before you i feel like i have to say this to someone not to everyone before you stick your neck out for someone who you've already done so many times before it's time to take a step back and it's time for you to put a pause, put a pin on that, on overdoing it for others, people pleasing, uh, you know, for others at your expense. When you end up, you know, emotionally, mentally, physically, even energetically or financially drained at the expense of yourself just to help others. Okay. Uh, it also feels as though this has become something that's been quite common where they've just gotten used to it. So they're not used to hearing you say no. They're not used to you not being as available. So expect a little bit of poutiness, but also like entitlement. How dare you, right? Uh, but it's, you know, something's got to give. Maybe it's time they give, right? You also have the card of adjustments are required. Exactly what I just said. Third quarter moon. Clearly adjustments need to be required in order for you to really, really take better care of yourself. I do feel like some of you are overextending yourself for people who are not in a position to really do for themselves like you've done for them. And not. it's not that they can't be in that position it's that they don't have to. You've already done it for them. So a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. And guess what we've got coming up? Middle of this month. Exactly this. New moon in Libra. You may be meeting someone new. You may be, you know, refreshing, rejuvenating a romantic connection, relationship. You may be reaching out to someone, mending, you know, past heartaches, you know, forgiving others, asking for forgiveness, whatever it may be. I'm not, you know, saying you need to, so don't come at me. Uh, but I do feel like things are changing for you for the better. I do feel like you're feeling more self-assured and much more disciplined about how you move forward and how you put yourself first moving forward because Aquarius, you deserve it. Okay. That is your reading for October. I know I've kind of slacked it on the readings. I'm trying to come back you know, to all the readings as much as possible. So I'll be recording and recording and recording. So please give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed with your notifications so you know when I go live, you know when I publish new readings, and most importantly, you'll know when I open up appointments as well as where I'll be in person if you are in the Southern California area. Have a wonderful month. Take care. Bye.